Hear ye, hear ye. Hello, I'm Mick Riggers, and this is Last Week, Right Now. Portsmouth local elections got nasty last week as local Conservative Party members and right-wing activists dug up a six-year-old tweet from a Labour Party candidate for City Council. She made a joke in which she plays off the stereotype of Jewish people being thrifty. A bad joke, perhaps, but not one that deserves cries of anti-Semitism or Nazi. A far worse racist joke is the current government's immigration policy. The Windrush scandal has unveiled how this hostile environment for immigrants has ended up deporting and denying medical services to British citizens based on the colour of their skin. They are British citizens, born here or lived here for up to 70 years. Could you provide evidence that you have lived here for every year you have? I couldn't. But I'm white, so I won't get asked, will I? The United States has been hit by another terrorist attack by a man who is part of the sovereign citizen movement. This libertarian movement has been involved in a number of terrorist attacks in the last few decades. The attack happened at a Waffle House in Nashville, Tennessee. Four people were shot dead before one customer managed to disarm the attacker. Terrorism is on the rise in the United States as various right-wing extremist groups with differing ideologies are becoming radicalised by conspiracy theory and ethnic hatred. Sound similar to anywhere else? Perhaps the Middle East? The Democrats are slowly giving in to the progressive movement currently seeking to reform the party and are now adopting legislation to legalise cannabis at a federal level. Unfortunately, they are still not keen on Medicare for All, a living wage, or stopping the wars. The Democrats are suing the Donald Trump campaign, the Russian Federation, and WikiLeaks for conspiring to rig the 2016 presidential election in favour of Donald Trump. Which begs the question, why would a man who didn't want to be president in the first place rig the system to win? The lawsuit itself may be in breach of the First Amendment in the Constitution, which protects freedom of speech and press freedom. Peace talks in the Korean Peninsula began last week during the recording of this show. Kim Jong-un has ceased nuclear weapons testing, but it remains to be seen if this will continue. The next person expected to join the peace talks is the diplomatic genius of our times and US President Donald Trump. He'll most likely be asked to remove US forces from South Korea. We'll see how that goes. What? We haven't done the good news bit yet. You're going to do a positive news because yesterday was supposed to be the end of the world and, and it didn't happen, did it? So that was really good. What are you... What, I, I just... Stop recording. Cut. Thank you for listening. I've been Mick Riggers, and that was Last Week, Right Now. We'll be back again next week. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, right here, right now, we'll be back at the end of the month.